Hi, good. Hi, good morning, everyone. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, plasma microphor plates and where microph is at on plasma currently. So, in this talk, I'm going to be talking about what's new with microf on plasma. I'm going to be showing you a sh short demo of certain skills, and I'm going to be talking about what's next. So the first thing I would like to do is introduce about what's new and talk about introducing dash cards. So I know many of you have Android phones and you all have used uh, the Google Assistant or Google Home. And when you open it up, the first thing you normally see is some kind of cards and news. So that's the concept with uh, the Microsoft uh, dash cards is that you get information immediately and urgently. So whenever you open it, you always have information cards ready on the, on the screen. The next thing that's new with Microsoft is how the conversation looks like. So uh, a lot of uh, applications uh, are now using a conversation flow context of how chat applications should look. So th this is how uh, the how you talk to Microsoft looks right now. Uh, the next thing that's new with uh, the Microsoft Plasmoid is there's got better autocomplete. So when you type, start typing something, Microsoft is going to be able to tell you things in advance that you can ask Microsoft. So uh, what else is new with Microsoft on Plasma is skills. A lot of new skills. Uh, so some some of the things that uh, I think last time I, I mean. I've shared on blog post is that you can do things like control activities, search and open files, control your phone via KD Connect, and text dictation. So these are some of the new things that are also there. You can get a complete list from this. Oh, it's not opening now. I'll show that later. So some more cool skills are the food wizard skill and what's nearby. So these are, are complex skills that currently that Microsoft can do, which I'm going to be demoing in a short while. So uh, with the demo. Let's try. So we'll improvise sound will be awesome, I guess. Uh, this is so exciting since live demoing sound is always, well, yeah, just give me a second. Just starting off. So apparently the old screen isn't coming on the desktop. I need to move. Yeah, I know. Just give me a second. That's okay. It's, it's so that you get to meditate and concentrate for a second. <laughs> In the meantime, if... Well... The other uh, speakers... Please tell them that one and coordinate with the podcast to have one uh, laptop that makes things a lot easier so we can have less text screens after. So please grab the other speakers and send them into this corner. Talk to Volker, he is very nice and will get your presentation on stage. There we have the microplasmoid, at least shown on screen. Uh, so let's start with something very simple. Hey, Mycroft, tell me a joke. Oh, is it using the other speaker? Can you switch over? If you use one put second. audio to use local speakers? Please start a little bit here, man. 
Okay, let's try that one again. Hey, okay, Mycroft, tell me a joke. <laughs> so I think uh, doing all of this live on stage deserves extra applause. Most of you have probably seen this uh, working at home or on the videos. It's really awesome stuff. Okay, so since it's not live working, I'm going to show you some videos. All right. And we're out of time. But... So this is basically what I asked Mycroft here was a Mycroft search recipes with chicken, lime, and honey. And you can see some cool recipes that Mycroft comes up with. You can, on, on, you can also uh, see, uh, ask Mycroft to read the recipe to you, and that's what it's going to do. But sadly, the audio is not working. Yeah, but all right. So this is one of the skills that Mycroft can do, and. What I had else in the, dem uh, in the demo was, this is the first mobile device that's running the whole micro stack uh, locally. So the next thing is, of course, doing a micro on Plasma Mobile, so, which I'll be talking about during the micro BOF session. So I would like everyone to please come to the micro BOF session on the 16th, where I'll be probably able to show everything again. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Usability testing. You all know him, he's part of the amazing board that keeps the show running behind the scenes. So, welcome, Thomas. Yeah, that is so good to In the meantime, is there any question actually about Minecraft since screens and stuff are not on our side today? I think we can have any more questions. Are you just in the room? Yeah. Is it able to have a fluid conversation or close fluid? Uh, fluid conversation? Right, chat box. Right, here's the mic. Yeah, so, uh, just a second. Hello. Uh, okay, so, uh, conversations, yes, uh, Minecraft can do conversations. Uh, there are skills for Minecraft that are do a proper conversation. You can give it a personality. Your own defined personality. Also, with a uh, with, uh, uh, Minecraft, there are skills that you can use in a con conversation context where you can uh, design skills based on conversation. So you can ask Minecraft something to do quick, like you want to play a game with Minecraft, and you can basically design it to 
your conversation flow with my colleagues. All right. So then we move on. Uh, thank you and talk to you.